What's going on YouTube? It's Mike with Delmarva Backyard and today I've got a product review. Uh, we're going to unbox and install and then give you my thoughts on the on the Pyrrhic stainless steel beer tap faucet. That's how it comes and I bought that online through Amazon. The reason was it is stainless steel so it's better than the ones that come on my kegerator. Um, so it, it shouldn't pit on the outside. Uh, my kegerator is in the garage and uh, it's going to be more prone to pitting. Uh, because the outside, it's not outside, but it's in a garage, so the doors are, uh, you know, up and down, and it's exposed to elements a little more than, uh, you know, than if, if it were in the house. The faucets that I have on there are more prone to getting clogged up with, you know, beer gunk, and especially with a, a sweeter beer, like a, a Blue Moon or something like that. Since you're not, if you're not drinking every day, um, it tends to, to get, you know, clogged up and uh, that's, you know, that's, that's no good. Uh, if it's clogging up, you know that there's stuff growing in there and it's just not a good environment for your, for your beer drinking. So I wanted to upgrade these faucets and the Peerless faucets are a forward ceiling design and that eliminates the valve from having to be in contact with the beer. It also has a better angle on it to allow the beer to drain out of the faucet a little easier, supposedly. So we're, uh, we're gonna unwrap this guy, install it, uh, show you how to do that, and then uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. I have two taps, so I bought two faucets. Uh, they were 40, about $46. And that's that. And as you can see, inside of there, that forward facing seal, it, uh, so that it's in less contact with the beer. I'll show you the difference when I take the other one off. You can kind of see as that goes on, it's going to be slanted downward a little better. Um, again, and I'll show you that when I get the other one off. Don't mind the boxes off to the side there. That's uh, it's a project I have coming up for another video. Uh, for those of you who know anything about home brewing, you can kind of see the names and what's going on there. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so the first step when you're gonna replace your, your faucets is you need to disconnect your, your taps from your kegs. So instead of unscrewing them, I'm gonna simply just disengage them by lifting the handle up. Same thing on the other one. Make sure that handle's up. Run any excess beer out. Okay, now I need to turn the CO2 supply off. What you need to do with these is you need to run them through a sanitizing solution. And uh, my sanitizing solution is the Star Sand. I'll show you. There's my star sand. That's what I use to sanitize all my beer stuff. You can go by the directions. I have some already pre-made up. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the valve forward. You see, I'm gonna pull it forward so that what it does is it's pulling the ball valve open so that beer would flow. Don't really need to take it apart just to sanitize it. I just need to open the valve. I'm just gonna lay that in there. Let it sit for 
about a minute, and then I'll stick the other one in there. In the meantime, we can take the existing taps apart. Okay, so that's the, the original tap. And you can see the difference, how the seal is in the, how the seal's in the back of the faucet rather than in the front of the faucet. Star Sand is a food grade product, so you don't need to let it dry. I'm gonna close the valve. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Turn the CO2 back on and then engage the keg taps. One. Got one drip out of that one. Got a second drip out of that one. Two drips. Looks like I'm getting two drips. Whereas those others, it would drip for about five. Ooh, there was a nice drip. That's more of a leak than a drip. All right, so I'm gonna get back to you after I've tried them out and used them with the consensus on whether it's worth the 
46 dollars and uh and we'll go from there all right so we we got about a week or so's use out of these these new faucets here and i'll be honest with you i was a little bit concerned uh on this guy this one when i first installed it you can see on the first video there it there was really no issues at all this one was doing a lot of dripping i thought i was going to end up taking it apart you know and messing with it but i don't know if it was just the you know i don't know the very beginning there but after that first hour maybe two it was fine just to let you guys see one drip these forward facing designs are to help you you know help help these home systems not to have anything growing inside the tap there's two drips and I don't think we're going to have any more than that. And you can see that's pretty much it. So let's try this one. You can see it's completely different than it was the other day. Here's one drip. And that looks like it's it. So very, very happy with these things. Way, way better than the stock faucets that were on the uh, kegerator when I bought it. So uh, at this point, very impressed, worth the extra money. Uh, and, and the big reason is, is because you don't use these things every day. Well, I don't. So, I mean, if you're using your kegerator every single day heavily, you don't need them. Um, but most people aren't that heavily, you know, on their kegerator. Um, you know you're gonna go you're gonna you're gonna have times where you don't drink beer every day uh, I stand by them good product stainless steel but make sure you get the stainless steel um, faucets they're they're nice nice product got these caps to go on the bottom of them and that's just nice keep any uh, you know fruit flies or whatever out of the out of the bottom shouldn't really need it but Better to be safe than sorry. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, look down below and hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate any support you can give me. Hit the like button if you liked the video or you learned anything from the video. And we'll see you next time.